Hello YouTube friends and fans. Today I've got a Sumo Super Spring. If you don't know what that is, stick around and I'll show you how it may help your truck or RV. KZ Creations thanks you for watching. Please press the red subscribe button for more featured videos in the future. Now on with the show. Alright, so what we got here in the box. I was hoping they were a little bit taller, but it looks like they're a little short. We'll see. We've got thread locker here. But this is the important part. It's a polyurethane bushing. It's supposed to take the rock out of the body and stabilize the ride. So let me take you under and show you where this is supposed to fit. So you can see this space here under the RV. We have a bushing here that I'm going to try to replace and that's where I want it to sit roughly. Alrighty, so the plan is for this bushing to sit and take the play out of the frame. We'll see how this goes, but that's the idea and stops the body roll from side to side. So we got this block cut out, this piece of metal. We're going to use it as a plate to cover up the springs and all that so when it hits it has a solid plate to hit. This is just a piece of one inch square stock makes the platform level so I'm going to weld this bad boy down cut this plate out with the plasma cutter so if you want to see that there will be a link in the description below the purpose of this plate is to take and center the sumo spring directly over the axle and take up the gap between the frame and the leaf spring use this yellow sumo spring for a Ford pickup you would just place it on a flat surface on the leaf spring. I'm going to do a little preheat. It makes it weld so much better. A little pro tip. Just going to tack it for the test for now. The other reason I'm building this plate is the proper sumo spring for this Class 1 RV is over $500. This setup I will have less than 250 in. So this U-bolt's what we're going to use to actually hold it to the frame. And measuring it earlier was four and a quarter. I marked it because I want to flatten this out a little. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got a little bit of a hump, so I'm going to try to flatten it out just to sit it down just a little bit. So we've got her all sanded down on the top side, sitting a little better, not great. Looks like it moved a little. We'll test that out. I don't know if you can see it, but this is what welding tends to do, and I forgot to start in the middle. It pulled it. I 
And I'm gonna break the weld and start over. All right, pulled it apart, ground it off, reset, tack in the middle this time. And now test it under the RV. Try to get you a good camera view here. It is a little tight. So that's basically what you got right there. So I'll take this in the garage and finish welding it up. I'll clean it up, get it painted. Next we'll take off that bushing and we'll install the sumo spring on both sides and pretty much button this project up. Arms are tired. That took about five minutes. Maybe I need a better blade. All right, so get the old bracket set in place. Just like so. Sumo shock should sit right here looks like looks pretty good is about how that will win have to jack this up farther to do it I think so. We're not rocking up here. I wonder how to be sleeping. Wonder if you can rock the camper and nobody would know. Well, I think you saw from the video of the jugs comparing side by side. It's a win. The wife's version was a win. I thought it was good. So haven't taken on a long trip yet, obviously, but we'll get that answer here in another video on an update. So stick around, hit that subscribe and the little bell, and give me a thumbs up. Hey, comment on what you really liked in the video. See you around. Thanks for watching.